Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, as the name suggests, we are going to discuss on resize bend radius and bend angle. So these two commands are not available over here. So as I said in the previous tutorial, you have to go into a menu and inserts and you can see able to see all the options. So now you can see here uh, as a name suggested by resize bend radius. So suppose if you have a bend radius here, so you can see here that there is some bend radius and also there is an angle for this bend. So these angles and uh, bend radius can be uh, changed by using these two commands. So you can see here resize bend radius is the command over here. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select this bend. So as soon as I select the bend, you can see here the, uh, the default bend radius, whatever it is having, it is being shown over here. So this is in having an 8 mm. Suppose if you want to decrease it to a 4 mm, you can just click 4 mm and you can just click OK. So you can see here, you see here this has been uh, reduced. Suppose if you want to increase it, you can just go to here and now it is 4 mm and I'll just give 10 mm. You can see here it has been increased. You can click OK. So this is how we can increase and decrease the you know uh, change the bend radius but always keep that in mind so the whatever the bend radius the minimum bend radius we have to give is one times the thickness of your material so you can see here there is a thickness of um, sheet metal which is around say for example 2 mm then do not give a lesser than 2 mm of uh, bend radius uh, so it will lead to uh, stress concentration so that is the reason we have to give minimum of 1 uh, mm of thickness so we we have to provide okay so now uh, the next command is uh, resize bend angle so as the name suggested go to the uh, resize bend angle and now it is asking for the stationary phase so this is the uh, you know movement angle so movement phase so now i'm going to give this as a stationary phase and bend bend uh, phase is sorry bend is this one so now you can see uh, it is 90 so suppose if you want to change it you can just change it over here so whatever the angle you want to give so i will just give 120 suppose if you want to give 180 you can just provide 180 and you can just click ok so now you can see here it has been resized suppose if you want to change the bend radius again so you can just go to this again and you can just drag it over here so whatever the angle it is there so you can just keep it over here and you can just click ok so this is how these two command works guys resize bend radius and uh, resize uh, you know <clears throat> bend angle so these are the two commands that are very important when you are working on non parametric models so suppose if there is a parametric modeling it is already having all the flanges and everything options here available here you can just double click on this and uh, uh, just change the all the all the you know bend radius and flange angle everything you can be able to change it here but the only advantage of these these two commands are when it is working with a uh, non-parametric bodies where you don't have any flange or any other features hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you guys